Okay. One last thing. Uh, when astronauts re-enter the atmosphere and they have that, you know, the, the, the burning phase, you know, yes. the flames and the thing. All right. We say, oh my gosh, will they survive? This is bad. How good? No, you need that. The astronauts coming out of orbit are going 17,000 miles an hour and they didn't bring fuel to break. Oh. Okay. Because all they would have to do, all they would have to do, we don't do this, but what they could do is bring enough fuel well, while you're in orbit at 17,000 miles an hour, because that's orbital speed, turn their ship around and fire it backwards. Right. That will slow you down. And you keep doing that until you like have zero velocity, and then you just drop out of the sky. If you drop out of the sky, you're not going to be burning up. Because what's burning up is the kinetic energy of having gone 17,000 miles an hour in the first place. I saw right. a movie. I think it was it was one of these Mars movies, uh, one of the earlier ones that came and went, where there, there's something happening on a platform and the guy falls off the platform, but it's a stable platform up there uh, above the ground. And as he falls, we see him just burn up. It's like, no, no. The act of falling through the atmosphere alone is not what burns you up. It's the fact that you are going from 17,000 miles an hour to zero. And where does all that kinetic energy go? There is friction between you and the air molecules passing across your surface. There's also shock waves that communicate as you're going faster than the speed of sound. Shock waves take all this energy that you have and convert it into heat. And then the heat dissipates. And then you fall down out of the sky alive because you have special heat shields that protect you. Uh-huh. There you go. And before we perfected the, the, the tiles that we used on the shuttle, we you know what the heat shield was? Astronauts? <laughs> we astronauts? They, were, they weren't really shields. A shield what, is something what? that protects you. Uh, we call right. them shields, but that's not what they were. You know what they were? They were like no. onion layers of burnable material. Oh, so they just burned off. Exactly. But you had to go through enough of them to get to the to the crispy center. <laughs> where the astronauts are. Where the astronauts are. <laughs> so, so it turns out coming out of orbit, you need more of these layers than when you come back from the moon. So coming back from the moon, you just make that layer thicker. And then it, it, it ablates and it, it heats, it burns off and goes out. That takes the heat away. And each, as these layers go, so it was a very blunt, effective heat shield. But it's really a shield that dissolves away in the heat. All of that, the friction, the shock waves, uh, and, and that allows you to not have to take fuel in order to slow down using fuel because you're basically aero braking. Sweet. That's right, what reentry is. It's a form of aero braking. That is fascinating. Friction is your friend. That's all I'm trying to tell you, Chuck. Every astronaut loves friction. Otherwise, they can't come home. They <laughs> can't come home. Or you need fuel to slow down. That's all I'm saying. You right. want to exploit exploit what you got. And so you should say, great, they're burning up their heat shields. That's a good thing. Sweet. All right. All right. I'm liking it. Chuck, friction's your friend. All right. I, I got a new friend today. <laughs> <laughs> that makes one. <laughs> All right, makes one, one, one friend. Chuck, and it's...